Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And some extraordinary claims have been made about the future. What is the evidence that has been presented? Well, in a court of law, it said that everything that you say can and will be used against you. Not for you, against you. So going back to the claims and the evidence, what evidence has been presented? What extraordinary evidence has been presented to back up the claims for what's to happen in the future? Well, there's none. Absolutely not a shred of extraordinary evidence. No one can argue with that. I can't argue with that. And I'm not going to try. And that's the entire basis of why I've always said follow no one and unsubscribe. Including to this voice that is speaking. Absolutely including to this voice. And that's why I say and maintain question the shit out of everything including what I say. All I can ever talk about is what I believe. And I can freely talk about what I believe all day long, every day, and present that to the public. I can present my beliefs any time I feel like it, just as everyone else can. And many do, obviously. There's no one saying that you can't do that. So it should be obvious now how a person can get set up. And that's what I mean, I'm being set up. It should be obvious how the system is doing that right now. Oh, we're still going to go out west for the walk. No, of course. Even though I say that now, and it's now I'm declaring it, there is no walk. There's no walk. So anyone who's going anywhere in the world waiting for a walk that they think I'm going to be on, they're going to be severely disappointed. There's no walk. And they're going to be waiting, not for me. If you want to go travel wherever and do your own thing, feel free, obviously. That's your personal choice and your prerogative to do so. But if you're waiting for some walk and me to tell you where to go, that's not going to happen. So this is the declaration. There's no walk that I'm telling you to go on where I'm going to be there. See, that's the thing with a spiritual battle, a spiritual war. Things change on the fly. And they go to extremes. This is why I'm talking about extremities. There's a lot of lessons to be learned from all of this. A lot. But I need to make it clear as to why the setup is a thing. This needs to be understood. So look at how it's sending its minions, if you will, to say, no, I'm, st- I'm still going to go out west. I'm going to go on the walk. I'm going to become homeless. Oh, of course, see, that's the setup. And then people leave their job. They get rid of all their belongings. They fly somewhere out west. They don't even know where. And they're just on the streets, let's say, have never experienced even a day on the streets, don't even have a clue what it's actually like to be homeless and be on the streets. Not at all. And of course, something will happen. You know, they'll get injured, they'll get in a fight, whatever. They'll wind up in the hospital, and then questions will be asked, well, what happened? You know, where are you from? So on and so forth, these types of things. Oh, I'm from Europe. Well, you're from Europe. What what are you doing here? Oh, I came to do this walk that this person on YouTube was talking about. And it's a, a way to get out of hell. And then, of course, you see the can of worms that gets opened up. Oh, gee. Well, gee whiz, you just did that? You know, because of 
listening to some person on the internet? Oh man, this is crazy. We got to find out who this person is and put a stop to it because it looks like you're not the only one affected. There's other people, a lot of other people doing the same thing. And you can see how the setup continues to escalate from there. And of course, then the authorities are called in. They find me, arrest me, lock me up, etc., etc. That's the setup. And this system sets a person up to take them out or take them down. That's the point, and this has been the lesson. What I always maintain and still do is to follow no one and unsubscribe. Absolutely. And all I can talk about on here are my beliefs and my beliefs of what is to come in the future. That's it. I'm not telling anyone anyone what to actually do. That is being absolutely succinctly clear. So there is no walk and I am no leader. Not in the slightest. And yet this system wants to try to play that card to set me up. So anyone who wants to fly somewhere or quit their job or do whatever, that's your choice. That's your personal responsibility in terms of what the consequences are going to be for whatever choice you make, no matter what that choice is. It's no different than the adage, if everyone jumped off a bridge, would you do it too? Or if someone just told you to go jump off a bridge, would you do it? And let's relate it to the vaccine. If a whole bunch of people told you to get the vaccine, would you do it? This is about discernment. And if one doesn't have discernment, in my view, they're not going to have a chance for what's to come in the future. And again, I'm just talking about my belief of what's to come. I'm making that clear over and over and over again. Because it's necessary. Because my belief in what's to come in the future is the real court session coming into play. The heart coming back. So yeah, court's going to be in session. And it's going to be both sides, both visions, as I've said, Presenting their case, if you will, to the world. And they're going to be, on both sides, obviously, doing their utmost to try and show why the one side should be chosen over the other, to put it simply. Because it is, it's two crowns, and a choice is going to have to be made. And at that time, in my belief, yes, extraordinary evidence will be presented. But right now, just on this YouTube channel, I'm just a bum with essentially a microphone. That's my evidence. My words, which is no evidence at all. That's not extraordinary evidence. And no one should just listen to someone and change their entire life just because they were passionate for a moment. That was the lesson as well, as I explained. Many things were learned. And not only that, the artificial outed themselves at the same time. So that was that was a win for the heart. Big time. That was a big win and a big reveal. It shook the rotten tree and all the snake lurkers that were hiding in the background, they outed themselves, and they're still outing themselves. They're abusive. I really hope the real hearts out there are paying attention really closely, because this is the type of thing that's to come. There's going to be so much deception. 
And it's going to be hard to discern what is real and what isn't, what is truthful and what is a lie. That's the point. It's just like in court, you know, both sides, you know, a lawyer on one side, a lawyer on the other side are going to be presenting their case and it's going to be the most difficult to, thing to discern which side is the truthful side. Or one might conceptualize, well, both sides are lying. Well, in, in my view, that's not the case. Uh, it, it really is. It's two crowns, uh, the head or the heart. And it's obvious which view I come from. I come from the heart. So all of this, including, yeah, such a turn of direction. Now there's no walk. So extreme. Well, that's the point. Because that's what's to come. It's going to be extremities. It's going to be the extreme. Again, I'm talking about my belief of what's to come. I have no evidence. None. So that these beliefs, my words, can't be used against me. You know, in that regard, they're just my beliefs. And I can hold as many beliefs as I want. But we have seen the evidence of extraordinary claims when it came to the vaccine agenda. The governments and the institutions, the pharmaceutical companies, they threw all kinds of extraordinary claims at everyone backed up by nothing that's the point they didn't have any extraordinary evidence to back up their claims they didn't have any evidence of any kind and yet they just wanted people to fall in line so never never fall in line to what I just say that's the lesson or what anyone says they might bring some passion they're going to bring a lot of passion both sides that's that's the other lesson as well to discern for what's to come again in my belief of what's to come the real court is going to come and there's going to be a lot of passion on both sides and one is going to have to make a choice That's the dilemma. You're going to have to make a choice. There's not going to be a choice about that. That's the aspect of choicelessness. Truly. Choicelessly having to make a choice. Head or heart. And both sides will be presenting extraordinary evidence. Absolutely, and that's the point. That's the time to come, again, in my belief. So, I reiterate, I repeat, and it's now on public record as a declaration. There's no walk that I'm saying anyone should be following or waiting for me on. Whatsoever. And I am no leader. I'm a bum with a microphone. There's no evidence there. There's nothing to follow or wait for. There's nothing to fly out west for. Until one sees some extraordinary evidence, then you definitely don't uproot your life and change everything. I definitely wouldn't. I wouldn't just change everything just because someone was passionate for a moment i hope this is being understood but it was necessary in a different aspect because as i repeat it outed the lurkers and the snakes and that's also important so that actually was important to have happen but as it stands all i'm going to continue to do is present my viewpoint and my beliefs as I always have that's part of changing the approach as well and in a spiritual war yeah one needs to change their approach often you never know what's going to be thrown at you 
on any given day whatsoever. That's that's just a fact. It's different every day, uh, I can tell you that. Uh, it's true that I am without a home, but that's my choice. It's my choice. I'm not crying out for help. I could find help if I wanted to. Sure. A lot of you have uh, offered places to me. Thank you. But it's not about that for me. This is this is my journey. I'm just talking about my journey and what I'm doing at this time. That's all. I'm not saying anyone should do these things or that it's the ticket to freedom or anything. And again, even if I did say that, even if I did, I don't have any extraordinary evidence to back up the claim and look at the fact. I can't present this as a ticket to freedom because I'm not free. I'm still locked into this realm just as much as anybody else is. So that's the fact. And of course, there's going to be the artificial that are just going to lambaste me on all of this. And that's great. Actually, I welcome that because it just exposes them even more. They're going to call this backpedaling, they're going to call me contradictory, and so on and so forth. That doesn't matter, and I don't care. This is a spiritual war, and they've presented themselves for what they are, and whose side, if you will, that they're really on, the side of evil. I reiterate, I'm not speaking to them. I'm only trying to reach real hearts and teach valuable in like just invaluable spiritual lessons that I have learned. I am not above constantly learning. That's again the aspect of vision. Constantly, constantly learning. As Juan Matus in the Carlos Casaneda series said, to be a man of knowledge. Well, or a woman of knowledge, obviously. But to be that... To be that individual of knowledge means that you're on a path of knowledge and you never stop learning. It's about increasing one's vision over and over and over and over again indefinitely. Never a limitation. So I would never claim that I'm above learning. Of course I'm not. I just present the things that I myself am learning. And have discovered. And I'm doing that freely. And it's up to anyone out there in the public. That have found me. To listen or not listen. That's it. No one's forcing anyone to do anything. And I'm not asking for anything from anyone. And I am no leader telling people what to do. See, that's the setup. It wants me to be that. It wants me to do that. To try and claim that I'm some type of the tip of the spear, if you will. And I know the direction out of here. Follow me. Of course, that's what it wants me to do. That's the setup. And I've explained the scenario as to how... It was going to go about doing that. But no, there's no walk. It's declared. It's on the public record. That's what happens when you publish something. But of course, all my words, all of them, will be used against me. But the thing is, I'm not going to be silent about anything, and especially about the spiritual lessons that I've learned. Absolutely not. And many of which seem contradictory because we're in a mock reality. And that's the problem. 
especially when you get to the a lot of these heightened spiritual lessons. The only way to learn them is to go through things like that. To go through the seeming contradictions. And that also prepares one, as I'm mentioning, for what's to come in terms of the discernment that's going to be necessary. A lot of people saw through the vaccine, but imagine something that's ten times more difficult to see through, to comprehend, to know what is the truth or what is a lie. Or a hundred times more difficult, or a thousand. I mean, there's no number that you can put on it. So that's what I wanted to explain, and it's done. No walk. So, it can't set me up. This is a lesson. Nothing more. From that I learned. See, I'll, I'll present it that way. A lesson that I learned. And I'm just presenting it as such. And if anyone learned something from it, that's great. And if not, well, so be it. That's the way things go with all of this. And again, unsubscribe. Stop listening. A lot of those who come back here over and over again that are showing themselves to be uh, on the abusive side uh, really go to the nihilistic tendency to just say, there's just nothing here. It's just all garbage. You should just stop talking forever <laughs> and it is it's it's just hilarious to me it's it is quite funny i'm not going to stop talking just because someone says that i have nothing of value to say go ahead say that all day long see i i don't just fall in line with what people say just because they decided, you know, to spout something off, and then, what, it's going to hurt my feelings, and then all of a sudden I'm going to stop talking? Well, the whole problem with this place is about rendering us silent. It renders every last one of us silent. And I'm definitely not going to remain silent, as should be obvious. I'm going to keep speaking as long as you know, I can, as long as I can, for sure. Why Why wouldn't I do that? And to any of the real hearts out there that have said what I presented has been helpful, well, that's the point. And I'm glad for that. And that's exactly why I will keep speaking. Because if there is anything that's been helpful, then it's all been worth it. And to those who say none of it has been helpful, well, that's fine too. That's about personal choice and your discernment. And again, that's your responsibility. If you want to conceive that everything that I've said is just a, a pack of lies or just a bunch of bullshit, then feel free to hold that view. It's no one's stopping anyone from holding their viewpoint. And again, I maintain, and I have to reiterate these points, uh, forgive me for repeating, but yeah, I'm no leader. Please don't follow me. Unsubscribe. And there's no walk. So no one's going to be meeting up with me. Uh, if people want to fly somewhere in the world, east, west, north, south, well, uh, have have a good flight, I guess. You know, enjoy wherever you're going. And if you want to do your own walk or you hear about other people doing walks where they say that's a, the ultimate ticket for freedom and they present no evidence and you want to go on a walk and follow them, well, have at her. But you can't pin anything on me. I'm just someone talking. Out into the void, as I said. Nothing more. That's all this is. 
So I've reiterated the main points enough times to be perfectly clear about it. I've given enough to really give the abusers a lot of firepower uh, against me, which is, in my in my view, quite awesome because it just exposes them even more to the ones who are really paying attention. So please, all the artificials, like, make the comments good. Act, go extreme with, you know, your your verbal abuse and gaslighting. You know, uh, make it about the extremities on your side because what's to come is going to be about the extremities. And this is like a testing ground, I feel. You know, we get to kind of see what's to come, a little bit of a taste test, if you will. That's why the, the comment section is important. I mean, in a spiritual war, it absolutely is about what's said. That's why I mentioned in yesterday's message, you don't ignore evil. It doesn't disappear just because you're plugging your ears and going la 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 <laughs> it's it's going to still remain and in fact it's still just going to keep in, encroaching upon you more and more no different than any enemy it's just going to laugh at you while you're doing that and just think that you're that much easier of a target well, that's why it's important to to keep one's discernment. And yeah, am I willing to throw myself under the bus for a spiritual lesson? Of course I am. Absolutely I am. I'll throw myself under the bus many times if it helps. If it enables one to see more clearly how difficult the times to come are going to be, especially in regards to ultimate choices and what's going to present, be presented in the true court, which is obviously the heart returning to the earth. And again, that's in my view of what's to come in the future. What's my evidence? I have none. I just have my belief systems, my beliefs that I hold inside of myself. They're not systems. See, I didn't, I didn't like that word, but so just my, my beliefs that I hold inside of myself. No extraordinary evidence whatsoever. Just a man with essentially a, a microphone. You know, there's, there's the symbol of it. And not even just a man, but a, a homeless man. <laughs> you know, someone that you definitely wouldn't uproot your entire existence just because he spouted off a couple things with a bit of passion. No, look at look at how many in the truth community uh, setting up their websites and so on. You know, that's, that's been the prescient warning. Remember that I said... They keep pounding the drum of fear and then wanting to sell you a bunch of supplies, a bunch of prepper stuff. I gave that prescient warning. And they constantly do that and they continue to do that and they, they always will for as long as they can. And they don't care who it affects. They don't care... Uh, about not presenting any extraordinary evidence. Their extraordinary evidence is the same. It's just they have a mouth and they're speaking into a microphone. And then they present, a, what, a whole bunch of news articles as their evidence. That's what they back it up by. And opinion, obviously. This is why discernment is the actual key point of this message. That's something to really prepare for inwardly, inside of oneself. 
because who knows? And it'll be tossed at me. Then how can we trust you? Look at what you just said and you totally contradicted yourself. It just doesn't make sense. There's no way we can trust you for sure. Don't trust me then. That's what I'm saying as well. See, I'll throw myself under the bus in that regard too. Don't trust me. When it comes to discernment, you have to trust yourself and your heart. That's key. And that is the key, as I've said. Only one key. The heart. It's the only thing to trust. And it's inside of you if you're a real heart. Listen to it. But the only way to listen to it is to get outside of the chaos and all of the noise. That is the only way. And there's so much, so many distractions. That's why those who are still watching so much garbage, you know, entertainment or whatever, that's just so much noise and distraction. If you knew that an ultimate choice had to be made in the near future, who would you trust to make that choice? Really, really go into it. Would you even trust the one that you're married to, let's say, or your immediate family? I mean, this is an ultimate choice. Everything is on the line with it. Or do you go to the only thing that you should trust, which is inside of you, your own heart, and only listen to that? There's discernment. So no, don't don't trust me about that choice. Listen to your heart. And I hope it's clear how much I'm willing to do in terms of just presenting these spiritual lessons. And that's all. See it just as that. These are lessons that I personally learned. And everyone, you can feel free to just see it as all a bunch of hot garbage too. And there's no lesson to be had from any of this. That's, again, that's your own discernment. For sure. And and I obviously concede to all of that. That's, that's what it's all about. Choice very much matters. All right. I'm going to end it there. Hope everyone's doing okay today. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you uh, all again tomorrow. Take care.